So now that my entire world has been shaken, I don't know what to do. I need to tell my husband at some point, but I was so afraid. I mean, I'm in a foreign country. I'm in Japan. What happens if he decides to get a divorce? What's going to happen to me financially? What's going to happen to me physically? Where are we going to live? What are we going to do? If I tell him I don't believe in the church and he says, you know, I'm sorry, but you, you, if I can't be with you for eternity, I'm not going to be with you for this life. It was terrifying, and I really, I didn't know how to approach the conversation, but I knew that I needed to have it. And unfortunately, I don't think I came out with it the, the way I should have. Since the letter for my wife evidence was so straightforward, Carrie went back to that as she composed a letter for her lawyer husband. I just took out the pieces that I thought were the most convincing evidences and I kind of compiled my own document of everything that I'd kind of been questioning and I printed it off and I said, I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't believe the church is true anymore and this is why. And I handed him the information. It was like I dropped a bomb. He was completely blown away. He had no suspicion or inkling that, that something like that was coming, especially for me. completely caught me by surprise. I didn't know she felt that way. And so I was very, very surprised. And, and my uh, perspective was really thrown off. She printed like a 70 page thing of research she'd done. And she's like, here's the reasons why. Read it and you'll understand. After a couple of days, I was like, are you gonna say anything about what I said, are you gonna, did you read it? And he said, I just need some time. And so I gave him some time. Anthony had seen these kinds of materials before, and even Mormon apologist rebuttals of them. He worked carefully through the materials Carrie had given him, and even consulted some additional rebuttal resources before responding. When he came back to me with some of the rebuttals from the church, I just said, you're an attorney. Is that argument going to hold up in a court of law? And he was, yeah, no, I guess it wouldn't. And so I, I read what she had put in there, and there was definitely things raised, issues raised in there that were troubling. Factual historical record versus the always the faith-promoting version we'd been taught growing up in the LDS church and trying to reconcile uh, these don't mix. The square peg doesn't go in the round hole. And, and so all of those were on the mind and the heart and just a, a cataclysmic experience working through all of that. 